Are you still using email to send confidential messages and important documents? Do you use Outlook? Hmm. Well, in this case, I've got some bad news for you. Hey everyone, I'm Frederick and welcome back to another episode of Cinedis Cybersecurity News. Last weekend, Microsoft notified its users of a breach that compromised Outlook account information for three months until March. And as usual, the public and the affected users are the last one to know and they know after the fact. So what were malicious hackers able to get? Well, I'll tell you, they'll get access to email addresses, folder names, the subject lines of the emails, and the list of other email addresses that the users communicated with. That's already quite a lot, frankly, and not the kind of personal information you want to have out there in the open. And yet, Microsoft at first claimed that, um, you know, at least the hackers were not able to get access to the body of the messages or the file attachments. That's what it said to TechCrunch. But the reality was even more serious than that. And in fact, another tech news site, Motherboard, discovered that. Microsoft finally had to admit that for some of the users, hackers also gained access to the text of their email messages and the attachments. Wow! Just imagine that. Bad guys getting access to and being able to read all the content of your emails, uh, you know, whatever you wrote to your loved ones, your doctor, your lawyer, your business partners, your customers. And they were also able to read any files that you sent, like intimate pictures, PDFs of contracts, Excel with your company's finances, and on and on and on. So with this type of incident, it is clear that emails are not a secure way of communicating. Even large email providers such as Microsoft can be victims. And on top of that, they take a long time to realize that they were hacked. And on top, on top of that, they even take longer to inform you, the public, of what happened. So, a sound recommendation is to look for better tools to ensure that our important information does not reach the hands of unwanted people. And that's why we created Hush Hub. You know, I rarely talk about what my company does during the show because my goal is to inform you in a broader sense of all the threats out there and give you ways of better protecting yourself. Today though, I think I owe it to you to mention that we do offer a nice solution for the specific problem we're talking about today. It's just as simple to use as any conventional email or file transfer service, much more secure. You can even continue using your existing email address and you don't have to install anything. You can access it from any browser, on any device, whether it's a computer or a smartphone. HushApp lets you send messages and files easily and in a very secure way. So as a gift to you, our viewers, just contact us to get a free extended trial for yourself or for your company or both. Contact details are in the video description. And in the end, whichever option you end up choosing, please do protect your information. And remember, be safe online and offline. We'll see you soon.